Property experts believe Auckland could be facing a housing crisis within 20 years. Lisa Phillips from property managers Erskine Owen says part of the reason is that the number of people moving into the city is soaring. Many Aucklanders could be forced to live in terraced housing and apartments with shared outdoor space. Auckland has 60% of the country's population, so we're getting the lion's share of, of population, so that, that's one aspect. And then we've also got to look at natural increase and, and net migration. But the big thing here is that we are getting the lion's share of population growth. So when people do come into the country, 60% um, of those people are coming into, into Auckland. Can we predict when this housing crisis is going to hit? Well, that's really going to depend on how council addresses this issue, so that's not really for me to say, but what we do know is that um, under the, the current regional growth strategy, we have a certain capacity, which at the moment is roughly about 170,000 households. What we do know based on projection, um, demand projections, is that for the next 15, 20 years is that we need approximately 200 households. So we've got a shortfall uh, of approximately sort of 30,000 that we're looking um, to need to address over the next sort of 15, 20 years. So it's, it's really, we're going to have some exhaustion of supply um, and the, you know, by the time we get to 2031, but it's about how council addresses that in, in the meantime to sort of when that, um, that sort of crisis would um, happen, so to speak. Will there be a greater demand in some areas of Auckland versus others? For example, will more people want to live perhaps on the North Shore? Will there be a greater demand maybe in the central city? Well, I think demand is kind of interesting because if we just sort of have a look specifically at what we call conventional density housing, which I think is of most interest to Aucklanders, because conventional density housing is what we term the standalone dwelling with um, on more than 400 square metres of land. So that's sort of similar to what some of us grew up with, you know, it's got sort of backyard, front yard. Um, that is what is at threat a lot sooner than 2031. So we're expecting that supply to be exhausted by 2023. So we're looking at something around the next 12 years for that to be exhausted. Then there are some areas of Auckland that will have that supply of conventional density housing exhausted even earlier. So we're looking um, firstly at Manukau City, um, and this is, we're talking sort of a time frame of perhaps the next five to, to seven years, followed closely behind by Auckland City and then North Shore City. Okay, so what What's the solution? Is it more subdivision? Is it terraced housing? The solution is, is definitely higher density housing. And Kiwis, particularly Kiwis living in Auckland, are going to have to get their heads around living closer together. We're going to have to cosy up. The quarter, the quarter acre section, that dream is gone, isn't it? I think that is going to be harder to attain for, you know, I've got young children and I think what, what is the housing options going to be for them growing up? They're perhaps not, it's not going to be as attainable to, to you know, have that sort of quarter, quarter acre dream. We're going to have to sort of redefine what the, what the Kiwi, Kiwi dream is in terms of housing. So yes, you're right, it's going to be apartments, it's going to be terraced housing and there's going to be still some standalone housing but it's obviously going to be on a much smaller parcel of land and, and possibly combinations where we have um, you know, some high density housing and shared space between sort of a cluster of, uh, of dwellings. Is the solution just to go up? Do we start, you know, start to live in apartments more uh, than what we do now? Is that the solution here? More high rise, make Auckland a more high rise city? Sorry, as a, sol as a solution to the housing crisis, should we have apartments? Should we be sort of learning to live in 30 storey buildings more in the inner city? Well, the solution is, I guess, that we have to, we've only got so much supply of land. I guess I need to say that here that what we do have in Auckland, and this is not unique to Auckland, is that we've got this ring fence around the city, which is what we call the metropolitan urban limit. So the whole idea of developing Auckland is a compact cities approach. The idea is, is that we develop Auckland sort of within this sort of fenced area, if you like. So if we're going to take that approach, with the only way to address the burgeoning demand is to you know, either go up or, or you know, have people living closer together. So we have to, just, we have, to have higher density housing. There is no, um, no other option. I guess the sort of second thing to that is well, can we consider you know, pushing into the, um, onto the other side of the metropolitan urban limit and continue to have some, some more conventional density housing? That's kind of another, another issue and that's definitely an issue for, for council uh, to address. Property manager Lisa Phillips talking earlier on First Line. Let's have a look at the sports stories making news this morning. Here's Sam.